Danny Udy of Louisiana was working at the Fukushima number one plant when the earthquake struck. And since the quake, his wife has only heard from him twice and his location has been moved. Jenny Udy, his wife, joins us now by phone from Pineville, Louisiana. Good morning, Janie. I am certain that you must be feeling very nervous having only heard from your husband as of last night at 1130. Yes, ma'am. That's right. Um, it, it's a very scary thing not knowing. That's, that's the whole thing, just setting, waiting, and not knowing. What has he told you so far about his surroundings and the situation on the ground there? Well, the last conversation was so um, sketchy. The, the, phones were, the phone was going in and out. I do know he's alive. I, I don't know how his injuries are. I, I do know he, what town he's in now, it's, uh, T-W-A-K-I. He and I, he said some of his, um, the people he worked with, I didn't get the number or anything before the, the phones went out. I did ask, is there a hotel? There's no hotel. And that's all the information I got from him before the phones went dead. And I've just been sitting here waiting ever since. So I don't know, uh, all, you know, if they have any anything for to get into for coverage or any mm -hmm. anything else it's just set weight i don't know if they ever got any supplies so they're just back here we go again uh they're stranded sitting there waiting so maybe somebody can get to them and get them out and they've been out there so long just in the elements i'm worried about maybe too much exposure on them now with this new worry, it's been worry after worry. It's been a new thing every time you turn around mm -hmm. with this new upcoming with a nuclear meltdown, and they've, they've let off some of the, the um, radioactive air, they say. Janie, since your conversation with your husband last night at 1130, there has since been an explosion at one of the plants. Did your husband, when you spoke to him last night, did he seem scared? I couldn't really tell. The, it, the, it was so fast, uh, and the main thing is hearing his voice, and I knew he, w he was alive. That was my biggest thing, that he was okay, that, that I could hear. I know he's alive, and I didn't get to ask any questions. I'm hoping if he can get to a phone, we c I can ask him and know a little more what's going on. I'm just wanting to, if somebody can get to him and get him out. Mm -hmm. did, did he tell you how he got away from the plant? Was it by transport publicly? Or was it by car? How is he traveling? Uh, as far as I understand, it was a car. I don't know how they got the car. Um, I'm, I don't know all those answers right now. And how far away at this point is your sense that he is from those nuclear reactors? I'm not that good with uh, the mileage there. I know it's the next on the map that I've got. It's the next town from the plant, from Fukushima. It's still pretty close, maybe approximately 25 to 30 miles from the plant that's got the problem right now. Janie Udy, we appreciate you joining us. Uh, our best wishes are with you and your husband. Thank you so much.